so we're just strolling around and we found some evidence of people with the 50 percent off bag of whatever it was sleeping bag rubbish and it looks like somebody's even made a makeshift shelter along here so yeah keep the old wind out wouldn't it and keep the keep the wind out there's some graffiti on the uh, tree Dean Lottie uh, I don't know can't see what else that reads no there is a path along there I suppose we could go and have a look we could go and have a look and see where it leads I'll have to check and, uh, it's a shame that people can't just respect the the wild wilderness and the you know, if it's good enough to come out of your camping, it's good enough for you to clear up after yourself, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, why they felt the need to bag it but leave it is a complete mystery. Uh, but it's a nice little shady spot. I don't suppose it gets much traffic along here. I don't suppose it gets much foot traffic. Mm. So, there you go. Shall we push on then? So we're just making our way through and uh, we've got it all going on. We've got it all going on down there. It's quite a steep drop off. Um, yeah. So I don't know where we're going. We're just um, just making our way through the forest. Got to be careful for spiders' webs and things. Because you don't want to go walking into one of them. You do like, the whole uh, spider ninja thing. Uh, let's just have a quick look down there. That's quite a steep old drop and all. Uh, we're just following the trail at the moment. Just uh, walking along, really. We've not been very far yet. Not been very far, probably a mile at most. Uh, it's quite dark in here though. It is quite dark and spooky. But we won't let that stop us. We won't let that stop us at all. So have a look up there, look at that. I don't think the camera angle can do it justice really. That is quite steep. And it is quite dark and spooky. Um, yes. So, uh, so we're just going to crack on, keep walking, keep having a look all around. So here I am, walking along, and I'm, I don't know if you can see that, being bit by a scabby mosquito. I'm just going to kill that, just for the sake of it. For daring to have the cheek, thinking he's thingy, so he can come along and bite me. So, I don't know how well that's going to come out. I don't think the camera focused too well. But it was quite a big mosquito, which is quite surprising because there's not many large bodies of water here nearby. No reservoirs or nothing, so I don't know. The bite hasn't started itching yet, so I don't know if he was fully, fully uh, engaged, biting into my flesh. But I was just saying to my anonymous hiking partner about the time when I got bitten by a horsefly, and uh, how I just brushed a horsefly away, and I really regret not videoing it. That would have been quite good. But, which is why when I saw the mosquito on my arm, I thought, no, don't waste the opportunity, film it. So just walking along the trail, I just happened to spot this little pea bug that's now gone blurry on the path. He's walking around doing his thing, 
keeping his life as easy as possible not overcomplicating it like people seem to like doing so much see my earlier video the parable of the magpie it's in there somewhere in my listing <laughs> good that should we crack on then mm -hmm. so here we are we're walking around and we're in some lovely countryside um, but we've we've stumbled across if you just want to have a look down this way at that gigantic pylon that electricity pylon and the extremely high voltage power lines that, that run to and from it but I don't know if the sound if the microphone is if I just stop talking just for a few seconds you might just pick up it's like a buzzing crackling type sound it's really really creepy it's a horrible horrible sound um, so what better place to stop with a you know with a camera than right in between the the power lines so um, but you can I don't know if you, we'll have to listen to it back later and we've got these random feeder bin things here as well uh, oh, I don't want to fiddle with it too much we found one just up the trail like an old oil drum cutting half of the lid and add a, a feeding thing out at the bottom probably for the pheasants or the grouse or something I don't know they had a look inside and it was empty so um, we're just looking now for somewhere to have a nice cup of coffee that crackling is really creepy in it I don't like that at all mm. could you imagine if one of them power cables just sort of split and just fell on the ground and we'd like whipping around <laughs> sparking and crackling um, so I think down the trail here to my left is where we're going to head next try and find somewhere to stop and have a bit of a brew and uh, sort of see where we go from there should we go hmm. okay so I want to go down this way down this long lonely track but up in the tree there's a sign that says keep out and then up in this tree up here there's a sign that says blah 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 this is our land you're not allowed on it clear off ownership is theft you know Gandhi said that it's true now if we go down there no doubt there'll be uh, snipers hidden in the bushes there in the trees and the trip wires yeah there'll be trip wires trembler thingies on the ground motion sensors um it's a path up there we're not going up there we just come from that sort of direction oh but they, we are allowed we are allowed because there's a sign that says public footpath so it's saying we're not allowed up there but we are allowed up there even though there's probably nothing up there they've nailed a sign to the tree saying private keep out which, to be honest, just makes me want to go in there even more. But, we're not going to. We're going to conform. And we're going to go along this path up there. We've ended up walking through the scabbiest, most horrible bit of ground ever. Bushwhacking our way through. We shouldn't really have come in here. But we did. There's lots of uh, ankle traps. There's a million and one ways to break an ankle, which I thought I did just a minute ago. But um, happily, that doesn't seem to be the case. So uh, it's close, though. It's close. It's just this soft, this stuff just all compacted, all soft and spongy. Awful, awful ground. We can't get back to the path we was on. It's treacherous ground. Uh, we know the rough direction we need to be going in, but we've just got to do a bit of a detour so we can get back, get ourselves back on track. So. 
so that's what we're that's what we're aiming to do right now so here we are more bushwhacking I was just saying to my anonymous hiking partner this isn't such a hike anymore it's a war of attrition that's what it is we know the route we've got to take it just involves bushwhacking through this awful long grass but at least I've got all the clagged up mud out of the treads of my boots and like I just said to my anonymous hiking partner a bad day's hiking is still better than a good day at work so, uh, oh not a bit of a direction change there yeah so a bad day's hiking is better than a good day at work Gandhi said that I'm sure he did no, but we really are bushwhacking our way through we've actually been up against it in this one a little bit which is fine that suits me absolutely fine I keep thinking I've got little bugs and things all over me but I'm just looking forward to getting home getting changed, getting out of this sweaty old shirt and uh and a nice cool shower that's the only thing keeping me going so keep on going we're doing great as we are bushwhacking through the waist high grass right let's crack on here we are down to the vinegar stroke of our uh, hike as you can see I'm looking a bit red in the face uh, we've had quite an eventful 40 minutes yeah quite an eventful hour um, we've been a little bit off trail we had to do some bushwhacking it's been a bit miserable but we've been together and we've been through it and sort of a uh, you know, a bit of an epic really it's turned into. As you can hear by the machinery in the distances. We've never been too far away from actual people I suppose, but there's a a few miserable minutes there. But now we're we're back on track. So I'm gonna put the camera away and uh, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.